Hey guys, it's Spears is Sims, and we are back with more of The Sims 4 Falling Stars, which is our star sign solar system legacy challenge. It is pouring! Holy shit. Anyway, so it's been two weeks since I recorded, so I have no freaking idea what the hell was going on, but what else is new? Also, I have to record all of next week's stuff. You go to work. Oh, okay. All of next week's stuff in advance as well. So if there's nothing next week, it's because I didn't get a chance to record it. So just fair warning. Um, Same as the last time. Myron's calling us. Sure. Sure, sure. Anyway. Um, so what I'm thinking, because I, we might've already gone over this, but I forget. And like, sometimes I forget what I say in the episodes versus what I'm thinking in my head. But since everything, we already know everything's going to move really fast with the whole, cause rom-com, uh, rom-com, meek, the rom-com, uh, geek con, the rom-com meet cute at geek con is going to happen sometime in this week. I forget when, I don't remember. Is it on Winterfest? Is it like, it's sometime during this week, right? Um, so we already know that like, we've got to get engaged within a week, married by the next week. That's by the next week. So I'm pretty sure I'm thinking like, let's just say EcoCon is on Tuesday. We'll maybe get engaged and then we get married. We're going to do that kind of right in here. But I also think what we might do is... We'll have our rom-com meet cute at geek con, blah, blah, blah. Maybe we'll bring them back, b get them pregnant type of a thing. And that's why we're going to speed up the engagement and marriage type of a thing. So it's all going to kind of happen within that same week, depending on when geek con happens. If it's in the early part of the week, then we'll be engaged, married, and basically having babies by the end of the week. Otherwise, it would be into the beginning of the next week. You know what I'm saying? Depending on time. Ace Engineer, good for you, baby! And you celebrated by putting on your freaking cosplay. I love you. You're such a sweetheart. Anyway. Um. But then also Taco is scheduled to kind of age up somewhere in here. Because I think he ages up somewhere around in here. So it'll be perfect because our... We're supposed to have our parent move in when they turn into an elder. So the timing will work out where we meet this person at GeekCon and we're kind of this rom-com meek. Oh my God, blah, blah, blah. And then we bang him, knock him up. Then we get married, engaged, married really fast. Um, Probably just elope, whatever. They have our kids and then... We're going to catch them cheating because the relationship really moved way too fast, if you think about it. So, fair. Um, and then, this way, it kind of makes sense why Indiana would, like, move out of the apartment into a bigger place. Because, you know, this isn't... Or, because this isn't going to be big enough, so we're going to have... We'll make the nursery up, whatever... We'll end up, I don't even know if I'll bother. We'll probably, will at least have bass nuts or something in there. But it was like, oh my God, so we're going to have a baby. Oh my God, we're having twins. But it's perfect place. And while he's at work, we'll have the spouse, like, bring someone over, have him come home, find them cheating, whatever. And then we'll have him basically, then they'll get divorced. Move, like, away to, like, someplace else with the kids and have Taco move in then. So it'll kind of... So, like, you know, poor Indiana's just going about his goddamn fucking life like normal and doesn't realize that the end of the year is going to spell disaster for him. Because he's like, geek cons coming in a couple days! And then it's like, yeah, and your whole life is going to fall apart. But, like, if you think about it, winter being one week is, like, a couple of months. So it's like, geek cons coming in, like, a month or two. And, yeah, and the next few months of your life is going to be just a roller coaster ride down but it's okay because then i'm thinking what we'll do is then maybe he'll like because one of the other things is find love with an estranged childhood friend i don't know if that 
I was. It says divorced spouse and find love with a strange childhood friend. And oh, I but maybe the pen pal from when he was a teen. But I think it's going to be. Is it Christopher? Christopher is your was your prom date? Yeah. My only problem is, I kind of. I know he's not supposed to have kids with Christopher, but I kind of want to. You know what I mean? Because I kind of want to see what their kid would look like. But at the same time, it's kind of like, I might just do that off. I might, like, put them in cats and generate a kit and, like, do a separate save just to see what that child looks like because I'm curious. Because the child that's born from him and his spouse is the one that's supposed to carry on. Like, you know? Um, But then again, like, We've started this series off and this challenge off by cheating everything because we didn't do the first two gens. We kind of were like, we sort of kind of did. They existed. And we kind of just shoehorned our characters into that. I mean, they worked out pretty well, the overlapping with Colorado. So I'm not going to lie. Um, but like Taco and Kiyoshi weren't supposed to stay together, but I, I liked them having their little family and you know, Taco was absolutely going to move out with Indiana, and then Kyoshi went and got himself pregnant with twins. So, like, whose fault is that, Kyoshi? <laughs> Kyoshi just tried to baby trap Taco, and it worked. It worked. Uh, that wasn't supposed to be that kind of family dynamic, and yet, you know. But it's okay, because your siblings are teens now, and maybe things aren't going that well. You know! Come on, boy. Learn to clean up after yourself. Who taught you this shit? I know Kiyoshi taught you better. You need to program for work, so I'm going to have you come over. Nope. Um, poor choices. Program. Let's practice some programming. Naoki Spirit. That's your grandfather, right? Not, uh... Kiyoshi's dad. Um... So we're just going to have you do your programming that you've got to do for work because you can't do any of your other stuff. Not that it matters, this job, because you're going to... You're supposed to... After you catch your white... Okay, that's going to be a whirlwind. Indiana's burned out of negative impacts of work performance and promotions. Oh, my God. All right. Stop practicing your programming. You're never going to get your skill. I can't believe you're burnt out from your job already. Wait till you get into the education career. You would make the cutest fucking, like, teacher, though. Could you imagine your teacher fucking rolls up like this? Like, how adorable. All the kids are going to have a crush on you because you're so adorable. And, like, he, it doesn't matter. I mean, when he gets old, yes, we have the skin overlay. So, like, all my Sims always look young, even when they're old. But you're still going to look adorable because you have all those freckles are just going to keep you, like young and adorable looking i don't know what it is but like freckles just kind of give you a youthful little glow you know but anyway so how do you get away from burnout let's see burnout decreases work performance and blocks promotion consider stopping the grind and taking a break you could take a vacation day but you literally just started work yesterday you are literally on your second day of work and you're already like experiencing burnout sweetie try doing this for 20 years and not two goddamn days where the fuck are you okay you're over here you are mopping an outdoor puddle you are a psychopath yeah are you neat is that do you have one of those traits no you're a geek, you're family oriented, you're gloomy, good manners, responsible chopstick. No, but yet you are acting like a neat freak, mopping outdoor puddles. Hi. Okay, where is your speaker so we could turn this off? Which one is your speaker? Holy shit, where is it? I don't know where your radio is. Is this guy? Is it over here? Where is it? He was looking at something. Oh, he was just looking at that. Where? Oh my god, there it is. Okay. Turn off. You cannot listen to fucking music and freaking watch TV at the same time, and I can't turn this around. 
hate the fact that my new mouse doesn't let me do that. It drives me bonkers still. Burned out. Really take a break becomes a, becomes a full-on brain block. 21 hours. I mean, I guess we could take a vacation day from work. It is Halloween. So, sure. Let's take a vacation day. Two days in. Your third day of work. You're like, yeah, I don't want to be there anymore. You know, though, it's kind of funny. I actually don't hate that. For being someone who likes... Now you're feeling flirty? Got the white one. Look at that. Look at how cute you guys are. I seriously, like, your child would be precious and adorable, but, like, I think I, I might just have you have a child with him anyway. Like, regardless. Even if that child's not allowed. It, it, okay, there's no rule that it can't be our heir. There's no rule that you can't have kids. It doesn't say you can't. It just says you have to have a boy and a girl. Which, again, I was like, can I just have two boys? But, like, you know what? Maybe we'll have our second son with Christopher, and we'll just end up having three kids. I'm pretty sure the one we have with our spouse should be our heir. But, you know. We have to name them after video game characters. Have I told you already what we're naming our children? <laughs> I want to be like, just put guesses down below. Guess what you think we're naming our children. But the thing is, I might have already told you. I have no idea. I've got all the names picked out for everything, basically, kind of already. Not really. I mean, so like, Gen 3 has to name their kids. Let's see. So our next gen has to be wacky or eccentric names, which like, honestly... That's basically all my fucking children's names. Have you seen Venture Forth where my sins are celebrities? Well, one of them is. And like, we just started naming our children stupid ass fucking names. They're not really that stupid. It's just they have two names. So I guess it could just be considered a middle name. But I mean, oh, yeah. Malvin Frost is really a stupid ass fucking name. So celebrity baby names right there. But, like, I have, like, a couple of, like, names written down. So some of them I have four, five, six, whatever. So, like, for Indiana, we had, like, Paris, Rio, London, Bristol, Essex, Indiana. What's that one? Oh, Salem, Rome. You know what I mean? And we did name our children London, Rio, and then we had Paris. So technically we named our kids lo all location names. Indiana wouldn't have been my first choice, to be honest, but I have so many Sims named Salem, even though I love that. But also, since Colorado was Indiana Jones, Colorado Smith, Indiana Jones, it just... He's thinking about kids! He's thinking about children already. That's because he's family-oriented, so he's dreaming about babies. Oh, fuck! Harvest Fest has gnomes? Does it? Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, fuck. Well, I know the nudie gnome likes toys. I think this guy likes... I don't know. You can't go here. Okay, hold on. He's gnome. Give toy. Myron's calling. Okay, yeah, good for you. Appease that fucking gnome. Oh, you can't get out because that gnome's blocking you. Okay. He's like, the bed's in the way. The bed is not in the way. Okay. Okay, can you please goddamn give the gnome a toy? Give the gnome a fucking toy. He's like, I hate gnome. Outfits. No, wait, 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 wait. More choices. Wear a costume. Be a space ranger. 
And then we're going to totally put you into your change outfit. We're going to change you into one of your party outfits. Because that's where you have your cosplay costumes. Did we ever give you a th third one? I don't think we did. Well, we're just going to... That's got to be your next one when you go to GeekCon. So I'm just going to put you back in your Joker costume. There you go. Now you can grab something. Did we give you a decor box? I don't remember if I did anywhere. I always forget that. Um, we needed a decor box. Oh, you can't. That's right, because you're in an apartment, so you can't fucking decorate. Not true. We can put up decorations around the house, but we can't really... Oh, you know what we can do, though? Boop. Selling gnomes, making money. Selling gnomes, making money. Can we sell this one? We can sell that one for more. But that one's also going to lead seed packets all over that we can sell. So there you go. You should really learn to cook, sweetie. Instead of eating cereal constantly. But, uh, why don't you serve brunch? Why don't you make, yeah, just regular eggs and toast. Harvest Fest is all about Halloween. Sorta. Dressed in our costume. I should have given you a new one because you already kind of did the- Oh, Taco's here! Hey, Dad! Thanks for stopping by! Revoke apartment cook. No. Invite you to join cooking. Hey, you want to come help me cook, Dad? Instead of playing on my computer like an asshole? And then we can have lovely conversations. Yeah. Help me cook, Dad, because I don't know how. He's like, son, you've got to, like... He's like, Halloween is awesome! I love this. It's going to get more exciting, like, in, like, a month. Because, oh, sorry, I'm trying to... Oh, crap, I'm sorry! I'm trying to adjust myself because my fucking tailbone goddamn hurts. So, like, my mouse flew off my computer. I've been sitting in the same damn spot for, like, two hours, so... Ooh, my butt axe hurts. It's not even my ass, it's my tailbone. Because, like, my butt's got a lot of padding, but my tailbone is like, fuck you, bitch. So, whatever. Likes cooking. Yeah, good. But anyway. So. <laughs> um, yeah, because, like, up until we get to GeekCon, it's going to be kind of bland. No lie. Because we got nothing to do with him, really. There's really not much we can do aside from our video gaming skill, which... Where am I going? Um, we're at level four, so technically that's the only thing we can work on. So we can work on our video gaming skill. We can't work on our parenting skill because we don't have kids yet. Um, we can't move Taco in yet because he's not an elder. We can't get to level three of our happy family aspiration because we don't have a family. We can't join the education career yet, again, because we don't have kids. And we can't get engagement. Like, we can literally do nothing, because you have to have the meet cute at GeekCon as a young adult, which we can't do until rom until GeekCon. We can't get engaged, obviously. We can't have the kids. We can't catch our spouse cheating. We can't join the education career, because we have to do it after kids. You know, all of that other stuff. We can complete the postcard collection. I mean, we can keep working on that. Always go to GeekCon. I mean, that's... Fine. He'll do that probably then as an elder. That'll be the last one. We can't divorce our spouse because we can't find a spouse. We can't take kids on a holiday. We can't get to level 10 of the education career. These are all the optional ones. Or complete our aspiration. And we can't name our kids after video game characters if we don't have them. So, like, there's literally nothing we can do. So it's only unfortunate that in this game, timing-wise... I think that's the only thing that kind of sucks. Like, sometimes it's going to line up properly where, like, your sim can go and... You want to get to know your cousin. That's so cute. Oh, right. We can't... We have to sell these and build them own. All right. Well, cool. Now we have uh, breakfast. 
I was gonna have us go ask Taco to pursue his dream job. I wonder what that would be. You just decided to not. Okay, well, why don't you... <gasps> Can you come here and, like... Play multiplayer game with Taco? Oh, my God. Play a game with Taco. Stop. Go play games with Taco. That's so cute. You gotta get your video gaming skills. It's the only thing we can work on. Taco's like, I thought you weren't gonna... I was gonna come in and clean up the apartment for you. I didn't think you were gonna be home. <laughs> Taco came to like, I... I oh, you, you're home! <laughs> you know. I feel like with the two of them that... Like, Indiana would be open enough to be like... Or if he... If Taco came home... Like, came over... As a surprise, I don't think he would. But then again, maybe. It's Taco. He's trying to, like, get out of the house because it's driving him crazy. Even though, again, even though he loves Kiyoshi and his children, it's like, this isn't the life he imagined for himself. So, like, he's not fully satisfied, I don't think. You know, hey. Sometimes we have regrets in life and you just gotta suck it up and deal. You know? But, like, I wonder if Taco was like, I can't handle this. I need to leave. <laughs> and just left instead of, like... He's like, I think I'm going to go over and uh, go to Indiana's house and maybe I'll just, like, clean his apartment or some shit. And then Indiana's home and he's like, uh, what? I don't know, or you would have texted him. I'm not sure how that happened, but I definitely feel like Indiana would have told Taco and be like, yeah, I took the day off, whether he texted him in advance and was like, taking the day off tomorrow. And... You know, that's why Taco came over, or if Taco came over and surprised him, and he's like, oh, uh, you know. <laughs> why don't we play another game together? Um, we gotta get our skill up, so I'm just gonna let them do this. But I feel like Indiana definitely would have told him, like, uh, you know, I just, I took the day off, it's Halloween, you know, he loves cosplay and going to GeekCon and stuff, so of course, like, Halloween is like... Well, I can, like, I mean, he's gonna, you can see him, he dresses in cosplay regardless, whatever, so that doesn't bother him, but, like, Halloween, he's like, fuck yeah, I can do it again, like, there's just another reason for him to get dressed up. Again, though, he does it all the time, so whatever. Like, I dress like a circus clown all the time, but, like, Halloween time is when I can wear all my spooky stuff, so. I should get going now. Oh, okay, bye, Dad. All right, are you gonna play games? Play incredible cool, yeah. Um, but I definitely feel like he probably would have told Taco that he was like, Yeah, no, I just took the day off, you know, and like maybe he wasn't totally into Like, let's write a letter to which ones haven't we done? Where's my Taco's calling to chat. You were just here, Taco. What the shit? Where is my thing where I was writing it down? Where did I write it down? Didn't I write it down? Oh, I wrote it on the wrong side. Okay, it's on the other side. I posted it. Lunar Lake, Sunset Valley, Twinbrook. Let's see. Career. No, no career. Um, socialize. Ask for a postcard from. We already have Appaloosa Plains. We don't have Dragon Valley. We have Lucky Palms. We have... Lunar Lakes, we have Moonlit Falls, and we have Sunset Valley, but we might have a postcard in our mail, because I feel like we've already asked for one. Um, nothing's been delivered. Okay, so why are you... Is that, no, that's yours. Okay. So let's look for another pen pal. Let's socialize. Find a pen pal. Oh, sorry, you could have gone pee first. Whatever. Bird, stop whining! God, he's so fucking obnoxious. I love him to death, but I just don't like it when he's down there going <coughs> and he just fucking whines. You know what I mean? It's so annoying. Um, let's... Oh, wait, no. Socialize. Whoops. Socialize. Is Christopher online? 
Christopher is. Let's go chat with Christopher. Let's go chat with our buddy. Outfits. Change outfit. Let's just put on our everyday. Oh, let's put on one of our new everyday outfits. Our new young adult outfit. The rest of them we've had since we were a teenager. And then we can serve dinner. You know what? Let's make hamburger sliders. That's cool. Frame rates are tanking a little. Um, but yeah, so anyway, yeah, a lot of shit's going to go down really fast. But like for the next like sim week, it's going to be nothing. Literally nothing. I like how he's got to walk around the fucking nudie gnome. It was just like one little tiny burger patty. And then it makes a plate. It's a giant plate of sliders. Look at how fucking handsome he is. I'm sorry. I love a man in a vest and glasses. <laughs> like, you are adorable. I can't help it. I love you so much. I love all my sins. Some of them are obnoxious little assholes. But like in general, I love my boys. They're precious and beautiful. A lot of social bunny things happen. Do we have social bunny? You're playing games again. That's good, actually. We need to get that skill up. Oh, you're feeling sad. I get it. Where did that fucking gnome go? I hate how we can't sell these damn packets, but that's okay. This is literally me. Play games, watch TV, play games, watch TV, make a hamburger slider, play games, watch TV. <laughs> He's like, and you know what? He's perfectly fine, like, not socializing with people. What's the newest thing we've got with, uh... Adventure Club, good friends, key holder, daddy, dearest. Cooking together, growing closer from quality time. Aww. What do you feel about Kiyoshi? Daddy dearest, too. Oh, that's so cute. You have no sentiments with Kiyoshi, though. Kiyoshi's also missing. A lot of my sims are missing feet. Because of the height slider mod. But, like, it always, like, they usually go away. But, like, they're just, like, sticking around. Let's see what you got. Good compatibility. Very attractive. Everybody's missing their fucking right foot. Jesus, deeply connected. We're going to have to... Well, that's the thing. I don't want to... Like, we chatted with him, but it's kind of like, maybe we live in San Myshuno. He lives somewhere else. Like, you know, Christopher's probably off, like, at college, and we kind of just didn't go. I would imagine, because, like, honestly, for university, like, I would only... I would... I don't have the shorter mod in. I really should put it in, but I just can have my Sims go for like a week and then cheat them, you know, and just pretend or whatever. It's just if you, because that only works if you want one degree, if you go back like Colorado did for a second degree, it kind of fucks everything up. It doesn't work right. So like, I'm like, not that I send my Sims for multiple degrees. Colorado was really the only one we did it with, but what if I wanted to do that? Like, I, I'm just like, my, my brain, I'm like, what in the 1% chance I do that again? And then I fuck up the gate and it breaks shit. And I was like, nah, I'll just cheat it. You know, because it's no different. I can just, look, she's got her Halloween hat on. But, um, you know, that's probably not how it's going to work. Like, but, so I would say that, like, for... Indiana, maybe he just kind of went and took, like, some tech classes, but he didn't fully go to university, you know. Um, he took some classes. He's just did the programming stuff and, like, in school. And Christopher's probably out there getting his PhD or some shit. I don't know. See what the game gives him for a job, if ever it gives him a job. I don't know if it's gonna, you know what I mean? I don't think we know. Careers and education, he just says high school graduate, so maybe he doesn't have a job. Does it tell you in here? Residents, parents, um, no spouses. I wish we could, like, flag him to get a job. Oh, we can. Career. 
Now, flag freeze. I don't want to freeze career university. I just want to like flag him to go to university. You know what I mean? Can you? Hmm. I wish you could just set it, but like whatever. Because, like, sometimes the game will, like, absolutely, when you have neighborhood stories or whatever, when MC Command Center, it's like, they adopt 7,000 dogs, but, and this, and that, but the Sims you want, like, get a job. It's like, never get jobs. Get a fucking job. Because that was broken for a while. That one was broken or whatever, but I think they fixed it a long ass time ago. So, like, you can get a goddamn job. Listen, Christopher, an MC Command Center could set you up to have a job, but I don't know. Anyway, you, can you, I'm going to have you make a plug-in in a little bit. I mean, you're not really going to do much, but maybe you'll almost get your thing up before we can, uh, before you go to work. You got an hour to get that skill up a little bit. I kind of wish we could work on programming while you're at your job i mean you're already a, like you're already a tech guru level four so i kind of feel like that was his um, it's because he graduated high school but i want to say that it's because he had some skills from say going there you go look at that you are not going to get a promotion today but that's okay let's have you you're already working hard. Let's shift paradigms. Let's do some interesting stuff. Um, present suggestions. Yes! Good job, kiddo. Let's turn that off. I hate radios in The Sims because they just turn them on and then they never turn them off. It's like, you could turn it off. Oh, he was sad for a second. He was sad because he was missing family. It's Friday. You don't have to work on the weekend, do you? Every... Oh, my God. You do have to work Saturday. It sucks to be you. Um, I say that as someone who, on occasion, has to work Saturdays. Um, only when we have releases at work. And we have to work Friday nights to make sure everything works okay. And then Saturdays so that the business people can, like, check things out and whatever. So we kind of just hang there. Like, yep. Although, I don't know how that's going to work next time, because I'm in charge of doing stuff that I've never done before, so this is going to be kind of terrifying, but let's not think about that right now so I don't black out from anxiety, because who knows? <laughs> I'm sure my blacking out is not anxiety, but like... Kind of hoping it's just like silent migraines? Because, you know, I do get, like, extremely, like, hot flash, like, the burning my entire body, and I feel nauseous a lot of the times. Um, so, you know, and find out that my sister has migraines. Hi! My sister watches this, and my dad had migraines, so, you know. Bird, I swear to fucking God! I love you, but shut up! You're a jerk! I love him to death, but I really hate the screen. I think my sister has migraines. That's what my mom told me. Can't tell my mom. <laughs> I don't know. But, like, I don't get... T like, if it's migraines, it's not, like, typical migraines. Like, I don't feel... Like, again, silent migraines. I don't feel the pain. But I definitely get the nausea. The other day, I was, like, watching something. I'm like, I don't know if I'm motion sick. Because you were doing something in, like, first person, and I thought I was going to vomit. But then I'm like, let me just close my eyes, and usually that's fine. And I was, like, I was, like, nauseous for, like, and two hours. And I was, like, laying on my couch, like, oh, God, I'm going to puke. Like, oh, God, I feel so ho horrible. And usually, like, as long as, like, if I'm watching something, like, somebody's playing a game or something, and it's mo making me motion sick, that, like... I was just like, okay, close my eyes for like 20, 30, but like, don't watch. But like, this was like, it lasted so long. And I was like, is that like, <laughs> I don't know. Either that or I have such really bad motion sickness slash vertigo that just existing makes me nauseous sometimes. I don't know. Listen, social bunny. I love the fact that he is just 
10 o'clock at night, gaming away. I'm okay with it. I'm going to let... Oh, never mind. Sweetie, you should go pee first. Go pee before you go to bed. But anyway. Oh, we can sell this nude gnome now. We don't need him popping around our house. Hell yeah! Look at making money on the gnomes! Why are you... No, sweetie, go to sleep. Don't you start coffee. Don't you start coffee. You were going to go to bed and I told you to pee first. <sighs> All right, coming up, coming up, coming up. When do you think it's happening? I cannot fucking remember. Like. Now you still. Okay, well. You got your stuff, so the good thing is, is like, if you keep doing good for the next couple of days, I keep saying programming complete, it's like stuck there, but whatever. That's fine. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, you're good. You're gonna wake up, it's Saturday, you're also probably missing your family. <laughs> like, this is changing in the background. He's like, living here so he can like peep out his window although actually you have the best fucking apartment because you can sit here as you're getting ready and stare out over what should be where geek con will be like it's so weird coming from this angle because you're normally like over here when you're playing like any of the cons you know what I mean? Because they come here, and so you're like, oh, you're always over this way for some reason. So being in this apartment is so fucking bonkers and weird to me. Everything, like, you're looking at it this way, and you're like, this is weird. This isn't where it is, right? The only thing that sucks is your bedroom faces geek con thing, but your apartment doesn't. And he's like, this makes me sad. Because he would absolutely love to be sitting here staring out at the geek con thing. But that other apartment was already taken. So this is the only option he had. Which, you know, that's why you're sad, isn't it? Scared of thunderstorms. You're just feeling gloomy. You could, like, clean up your own fucking shit. You can't clean up in your sink. Maybe you can't get to your sink. It's fine. There's a trash can, though. Whatever. I know, you gotta go to work, though, so... He's like, I'm going to go back to playing games. You know what? This is why I love you. Playing video games. Sweetie, you can't go cry. You have to go to work. Oh my God, I'm going to choke my bird. Do that too much. I just want to squeeze him. Like, not in a bad way. He's just so fucking cute. But he's being such a goddamn douche hole. But anyway. Do you have mail yet? Sloppy code. New co-workers introduced. I would say fix it. Yeah. Rio. Oh, why is Rio dressed like a llama? All right, we can chat. You know what? I feel like Rio is calling to be like, oh my God, guess what? I get to be the mascot for the school football team. Because, you know. <gasps> you got promoted to project manager. The Romance Festival! Give him a hug. Oh, but the problem with this is I really do wish that Geekcom was before the Romance Festival. You know what I mean? The Romance Festival is taking a long time to set up. I really do wish that Geekcom was before the Romance Festival so they could get married at the Romance Festival. But read about the festival and then you can leave an affirming note because your neighbors are cool. The festival is happening in this neighborhood, but it's not till 5 p.m. It's just 5 p.m. It's 6 p.m. But why does it look fucking half assed? Oh, there it is. It's finally filled in. Like. Hey, Junior, what are you doing? Junior is literally, i you know what I hate? I guarantee you we're going to go to GeekCon and it's going to be our fucking family. It's not even going to be anyone interesting. There's not going to be anyone attractive. Our children are going to come out looking like trolls. 
Um, who are you, ma'am? Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. Who are you? You're kind of cute. You're an adult. There's going to be no young adults at GeekCon. Like how he's like, eh, I'm not interested in a romance festival. It's fine. Anyway, I think, yes, if the romance festival is on Saturday, then GeekCon is like Tuesday or something. I think it's stupid that they're during the week. They should always just be on weekends. Because, like, who the hell's going to GeekCon on Tuesday aside from Indiana skipping out on fucking work? But. Because it's during the day. So, like, the romance festival's at night. You could have the romance festival on, like, a Tuesday night. But GeekCon should be on, like, a Saturday during the day or a Sunday during the day. But it's never like that, so. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to wrap this part up here. Hopefully, we'll be back next time. I'm going to go choke the damn bird. I'm not going to choke him. I'm going to go, like, grab something to eat and spend, like, a few minutes with him so he shuts his fucking face. <laughs> like, but anyway, again, I hopefully I'll see you guys next week. Oh, my God. Bird, stop. I will never come back down again. You will never see me again. I'm leaving. That's it. Yeah. That's why you shut your mouth. Oh my God, could you clean? Are you going to get to the point where we can't clean this up? You can go upstairs and clean it up. Like, because it's like, just move it because. No, clean it up. You have a fucking sink upstairs. You have a sink upstairs. Will you clean this up? What the fuck? See? Okay, there's a sink right there, too! Okay, I thought maybe he couldn't use it for some reason, but I'm like, what the hell? You're just being an asshole. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this part up here. Hopefully I'll see you next week, if not the week after. Um, But yeah, remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more!